Hey everyone, it's Dave here. If you're looking to back up your Presenter 09 files, maybe you're just looking to you know, create some version control backups, or maybe you're looking to actually share them with other developers on the team, or you know, maybe your SMEs even co-developing the course with you. There's a real easy way to ensure all the assets travel together, and that's called the Send to Articulate Presenter Package feature. And you can find it up here in the Microsoft Office uh, button. I'm working in 2007. And if you come down here to send, here it is, Articulate Package. It's a really great feature. Let me open this up for you. So a couple basic pieces of information. You'll see right here that I include in mine a date. Uh, usually go by the year, and then I use a, a dash for the month, and then, and then the, the day of the month. And then, of course, whatever version I'm on for that day. You have the version control number down here. I'm not as big of a fan for this, and for the only reason is that when I save these out, let me just change this to version 3, and you're, you're previewing these zip files, say, you know, in Windows Explorer, they line up, they order nicely. You can't see the version number if you're putting it here, but if you're storing these, say, on a network drive, or you're, you're storing them in your, you know, your project team folder, you can easily view all the different versions just because the file name has that information on it but um, here you'd have to open up the version each time so I really don't worry or use that version it's just a personal preference name information um, you know if you want that it's fine any special notes on that version but um, let's go ahead and just export this and see what happens and the great part about this 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 package feature is that everything that you have in there the audio files the video files obviously all your slides and graphics they all travel neatly together so that when you extract it you get the PPTA file as well as the PPTX file and everything is there so I'm just saving this to my desktop and we can go ahead and open the folder okay so here they are so you see, this makes it really easy, especially for a project manager or if you're looking to kind of go back and, and, and find a different version. You can see how easy it is to track this. And the reason I like to move the dates or use the dates in this fashion is also it helps uh, Windows organize these chronologically. If you put the, the year last, it's going to start sorting it by the month and day, and you can get all out of order. So it's just kind of how I like to manage these. I use the version for however many changes during the day. And then, of course, you know, if it were to, the next day, I'd change it to the 29th and so on. But this really keeps everything nicely organized from a high level by year, by month, and then by the day of the month, and then that version of the day. So all you need to do right now is say if you wanted to, um, you know, the next developer was opening this file up, they could just right-click and choose Extract to Here. And there's our folder. Let's go ahead and open that up. And there it is. We have a little bit, a few notes right here giving us some basic information about what's in the package, who created it, the version, obviously remember I took that off, and then you have your files. So this is it, this is a great way to share files across uh, different teams as well as perhaps if you're working from home in the office. The biggest uh, warning flag, warning, warning, is that you don't want to save this or create this package across a network drive. You can get some unpredictable results that way, you can get some corrupted packages. So if you are sharing this on a team share, save it to your local drive, a C drive, um, desktop, and then just copy over the zip file to a, uh, to a network drive or team drive, um, and that'll be okay.